And we are back with our part two on Ferndale, and this is going to be all about what it's like to live in Ferndale. My name is Mike Perna, local real estate broker here in Southeast Michigan, and we'd be honored if you called us for your family's next move, if you're looking to purchase a home or if you need to sell a home anywhere in Metro Detroit. On with the show. In the last video, which I have a link to right here, we went over a lot of statistical data, demographical data, facts and charts and some maps and all kinds of stuff, that, you know, just the down and dirty, dry data around Ferndale. This one's going to be a lot different. This one we're really going to dive into. What it's like to live in Ferndale. What is there to do? Where do I go buy food at? All of those wonderful things. So Realtor.com recently ranked Ferndale as one of the top 10 first time home buyer cities in America. And we know that our buyers love it. We know we love it. And originally I was trying to make an evenly balanced pro and con video. However, there are so many pros outweighing Ferndale's limitations or any of the cons. I'm just going to pretty much bring up all the pros and then the one singular con I'm going to talk about way at the end of the video. So one thing I love about Ferndale is I'm a very big shop local, live local, support local businesses kind of guy. And when it comes to grocery shopping, we can definitely do that in Ferndale. We have Ferndale Foods, we have Western Market, we have the State Fair Supermarket and Nine and Hilton Market. In addition to that, nearby and just outside the city limits, we've got an Aldi, a Meyer, a Kroger, and Holiday Market. Holiday Market is actually one of my favorites, and I would definitely recommend their dessert section 100%. They're so good. Now, Ferndale has really become a destination known for art, music, and a very big DIY culture. And Ferndale has a small, but a really eclectic and mighty downtown, and it's even earned the award of the Great America Main Street, and has done so for a reason. It offers independent shops, support for local makers, and has a diverse and vibrant food scene. Okay, so let's get on to some of the things to do in Ferndale. First on my list is Rust Belt Market. And I think I've been there more than anywhere else in Ferndale and I've gotten gifts including, but not limited to a fanny pack with cats and Coronas on it for my little sister and a matching one for my brother-in-law. Now the history there is Rust Belt Market was occupied by Gap and then Old Navy. And I don't know if anybody was sad to see them replaced, but they were replaced by this eclectic conglomeration of 40 little shops inside of a big warehouse style shop. Their mission is to make small business entrepreneurs space and sales attainable through low rents and they've really done that and they also have a bar there which is pretty cool so you can shop and have a drink while you're shopping so both accomplished in addition to that in Ferndale we've got go comedy which is a personal favorite featuring some of the best sketch comedy and sketch comics in the country and yes I put it out there I believe it's amongst the best in the country and I will put them up against Second City every day of the week and twice on Tuesdays also inside of Ferndale you've got Detroit axe axe throwing you've got curling and yes there is actually curling like check this out guys and last but not least is the game room which is actually in front of Detroit axe which has some games a little bit of food some drinks you get some family there, some friends there, play some board games. The board games are free. You don't have to rent them or anything else. And I will say this, putting this out there is just a personal challenge to anybody watching this video. Anybody that wants to challenge me on Ticket to Ride, challenge accepted because I don't lose that game. I don't. Sequence, I'm a 50-50, but Ticket to Ride, not going to happen. Not going to happen. And no Living in Ferndale video could be complete without a couple of the festivals that happen throughout the year in Ferndale. Most notably, we've got the Woodward Dream Cruise. Annually in August, its founder lives in Ferndale, started it in Ferndale, and started actually as a fundraiser to create a soccer field for kids, and has now grown to become known as a national event. And people come in from like multiple states, they bring their classic vehicles, you line up on Woodward, you get to watch the cars, it's amazing. So one weekend per year, you either love Woodward and you go pull up a chair and sit there and watch the cars, or you try to avoid Woodward at all costs, in which case I would advise using Hilton or Campbell or Coolidge to go north and south, just completely avoiding that entire thoroughfare. In September, we've got the DIY Street Fair, also known as the Funky Ferndale Art Fair, the FFAF, the FAF where local artisans come and you can see the art out on the street, there's live music, it's a full-on fair. And then my personal favorite, Pig and Whiskey Festival in October. Do I really need to explain that one? It's like bacon and bourbon. Yeah, I'm gonna be there, 100%. And overall, living in Ferndale, there are almost nonstop festivals and events happening year-round. Every month has something different to choose from. Living in Ferndale also has some advantages as far as its park system. There are 14 parks, all of which have different amenities, from Schiffer Park, the smallest one in the heart of downtown, to Martin Road Park, home of a community garden, and including Wilson Park with the new dog park addition. Each park has different amenities and events going on within the parks, including playgrounds, soccer fields, baseball diamonds, and a full list of amenities can be found at ferndalemi.gov backslash parks. We're gonna go ahead and put that right on the screen there. Now the downtown area. Downtown Ferndale, I have so much to say about it, but I really just gotta bring it down to two things, the food and the shops. Now I've heard downtown Ferndale called fashionable Ferndale, funky Ferndale, and those are absolutely accurate descriptors. 
but there's nothing like the food in downtown Ferndale. Between Otis Supply, Pops for Italian, Public House, and if you're craving food of the oyster variety, Voyager, those are just a few of my favorite restaurants. And we actually have a bucket list video of the best dinner places and another bucket list video of the best brunch places in Ferndale. Like we actually had to do additional videos because there's so much great food in Ferndale itself. Okay, last but not least, I do gotta get to that con of living in Ferndale. And but before I get there, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Are you ready? All right, here's the one single con. Ferndale's taxes are 33% higher than the average property tax in the United States. Michigan itself is actually one of the more heavily taxed states, ranking 13 overall. And what we found is Ferndale is higher than the average in Michigan itself. We're rating taxes as our first and pretty much only con of living in Ferndale. And that is a taste of what it's like living in Ferndale, Michigan. My name is Mike Perna with the Perna Team Realtors, and we would be honored to help your family buy their next home or sell their current property. Thank you again, everyone, and make it a great day. Wow.